Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Avantika. I help you guys with your board exams. Well, this video is about your board exams. So many of you, after this last video I posted, many of you in the comment section were asking about how to study maths. So I got 99% in my maths board exams in class 10 so i know i am in a good position to guide you guys and um, as you guys know if you want the study material for board exams 2025 then you guys can directly send me a dm in my instagram or you guys can email me and my email address is here or you guys can directly DM me on my Instagram. I will love to help you guys. And for those of you guys who wants to do it on your own, here are a few tips if you want to improve your maths. So I categorized people uh, in maths in two groups. Number one group would be the people who hate maths and number two who would like maths, but they do some silly mistake in their board exams and their marks gets deducted. So ICC board exams, you will get step marking. So if you, if, even if you guys have written the formula, you'll get one marks in the board exams. So number one tip would be write the formula of each and every sum you guys. Number two would be in the chapter mensuration, you guys need to draw the diagram because when you draw the diagram, the pe the person checking the paper will understand that you actually have made an effort to draw the diagram. You have understood the problem. And same goes for your heights and distances or any other uh, geometrical figure that uh, you have come across, like in circles or triangles, uh, similarities, anything. So you guys need to draw the diagram. From there, you need, guys need to study maths. Number one, uh, my number one suggestion would be, I know many of you go for reference books, but number one would be go through ML Agarwal. I, I don't know how much time I have to repeat it, but go through ML Agarwal thoroughly because they have provided solutions to the examples. Even previous year problems are included in ML Agarwal. After solving ML Agarwal, if you have time, go through the model test papers provided by Frank for your MCQ practice. MCQ is another big thing that is a challenge for most of you. I would suggest you guys to study the theory portion of each chapter. Like don't have to memorize it, but just read it in order to understand the concepts so that even if in the MCQs you get a direct like um, theory based question, you guys will be able to solve it. And please do the check your progress because many questions in board come directly from check your progress and just the the values of the questions are changed, but the entire thing remains the same. Do that and then also solve the previous 10 year questions because many questions get repeated. You will understand the combination of questions like which chapter comes with which chapter. You can study it accordingly. Please do not skip any chapters because I, I have seen people skip the hard chapters like mensuration but mensuration questions come very easy in the board exam the hard chapter questions comes very easy so please do that and solve as many questions as possible because maths is all about practice even if you fall in the category of students who do not like maths I would want you guys to first learn the basics of maths. Like, for example, in order to solve a question from circles, you need to understand parallel lines because many I have seen many questions from parallel lines or even triangle, even Pythagoras theorems. Many questions are from there. So you need to first hear the concepts of uh, like the basic concepts then you have to go through the questions of the geometry figures basically now about the chapters who which are not geometry based questions like shares and dividends or banking these 
chapters are formula based so i would want you guys to memorize the formula then go through the example first and then go to your exercise i have seen so many people directly jumping into the exercises and then getting stuck in the exercise and then just shutting the book and keeping it aside saying that i don't like maths first see the formula then go through the examples then start your exercise and after completing the exercise mandatorily do the chapter test and mcqs from your book like go through the book multiple times if you are a person who does silly mistakes i hope by now like it's november already i hope you guys have uh, completed the entire book start revising the chapters you find difficult like do it again and again unless it is like bread and butter like you can tell that oh this question the answer will be this unless and until you are that prepared keep solving the ml agarwal and after doing that start solving question papers question papers will build your confidence and reduce your silly mistake to a great extent okay and after doing that set a timer and solve the previous year questions as i have told you after solving the previous year questions i'm damn sure you guys will find maths very easy because maths do not need memorizing i don't know how many times i have told this to people like i loved maths just because that was the like one subject i didn't have to study or i had to revise because that was completely based on formulas so maths is easy i know many of you are scared of numbers but what i would suggest you guys to do would be just solve ml agarwal do the example first then exercise then solve the model test paper after that even if after that you find maths difficult come and comment down below that didi you said that after doing these things i will find maths easy but still i'm finding it difficult comment down below if you do that okay and all the very best for your board exams that would be my suggestion for maths uh for like to get 100 out of 100 in maths in 2024 or 2025 if you guys want the model test papers that i have said for each uh, subject the price would be 199 dm me on my instagram or my email i'll respond to you guys and see you guys in the next video till then bye bye